Hello and welcome to KC Boomer Tech, where we discuss everything tech related to boomers and a little bit more. Here I explain it to you, but I can't guarantee you're going to understand it. I have a new video today on how to fix your GE side-by-side -side refrigerator when it shuts down. So let's get to it. Like many of you, you get home from work, and if you're like me, I want a cool, nice glass of water. So you grab yourself a glass, walk over to your side-by-side -side refrigerator, you go over to the ice dispenser water, pull it in your glass, and you expect it to get filled. Well, I came home to my GE side-by-side -side refrigerator, did the same thing, and I realized it's not working. And there's no lights on the front of the control panel. I opened the front door to my side-by-side, -side. none of the lights are working. And I listen carefully, and guess what I hear? The compressor is running. So now I've got a dead refrigerator and no cool ice. Well, most GE side-by-side -side refrigerators have a common problem. And that is, without warning, the computer will shut down. And suddenly, you're faced with a dead control panel, no lights, but either the freezer or the refrigerator will be working at a set temperature. So what do you do? Well, this is, the reason that is that's happening is it's caused by the computer inside the, the uh, refrigerator. And what it is is that one of the relays has either failed or has gotten stuck. Now, you can, if you're handy and you want to try something, you can unplug your refrigerator, pull it out, take the panel off the back of the refrigerator and on this board that's in the back there unplug it and take it out. You can take a rubber handled screwdriver or a um, flashlight like this, some object that's got a little bit of weight to it and you, these are the relays in the front and you want to give it a good tap back and forth across this. Then put it back in the refrigerator and get your hands off the electronics and plug it in. Most likely the refrigerator will come back up. You're still gonna have to replace or repair the motherboard. If you're handy, these relays can be ordered. So if you're an electronics technician and you know how to solder, you can order the relays and solder them in yourself. If not, order the motherboard when it comes in, replace it, put the panel back on in the back, plug it in, and the refrigerator should come up and start running. Now, what the thing that most people forget, and it's important, is that the refrigerator needs to stabilize. So you want to let it run for about five minutes. Then, on the control panel, check to see that the ice maker is enabled, that the temperature settings are set to normal. All of your settings are set according to your manual. Now, after you've done that, wait another five minutes. Go into the control panel again and check them. If everything is good to go, check your ice maker. Should be going. Check your water dispenser. Should be going. Your lights and everything should be working. If it, that means you're good to go and you've repaired your own refrigerator. Now, if this has been helpful, I would like you to sh like and share to our channel. Put in the comments section that this was that this worked or didn't work for your particular instance, and uh, please uh, also comment on anything else you'd like me to uh, talk about. So you have a great day.